Thank you. We love you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to win. We're going to win so big. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. We're going to win so big. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to win so big. Thank you. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present the next First Lady of the United States, my wife, an amazing mother, an incredible woman, Melania Trump, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. If you want someone to fight for you and your country, I can assure you, he's the guy. He will never, ever give up. And most importantly, he will never, ever let you down. Earlier in the day, the convention opened in a businesslike manner. This convention will come to order. But the convention hall later slipped into chaos when Republican Party leaders blocked a last-ditch effort by anti-Trump forces to derail his nomination. It was an emotional battle that played out on the convention floor. Those in favor of the rules package will say aye. Those opposed shall say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. No Trump! No KKK! No racist USA! Outside the convention hall, protesters took to the streets of Cleveland for a variety of causes, though most were targeting Trump and his controversial rhetoric. The protesters were met by a heavy security presence on land, on water, and in the air. The four-day convention concludes with Trump's acceptance speech on Thursday. But even those who support Trump say they are most concerned with stopping his Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton. I do not know him well enough to say that I am unquestionably in his support. But the alternative doesn't exist, and so I'm happy to support him. For her part, Clinton gave a speech of her own in Ohio to the NAACP convention in Cincinnati. We all know about that other convention happening, happening up in Cleveland today. My opponent in this race may have a different view, but there's nowhere I'd rather be than right here with all of you. In Cleveland, more speeches and protests are expected on Tuesday.